From the MidwestSports.net studio, I'm Joey McWilliams. This is Midwest Sports Now. We start with Division II college baseball where in Cary, North Carolina, the Central Missouri Mules punched their ticket to the national semifinals with an 11-3 win over Ashland. The Mules racked up 19 hits and Mason Green picked up the win going seven innings as the Mules picked up their 45th victory of the season. It was also a pretty eventful day for Mason Janvrin. He had two hits on the day and... He was selected in the 14th round of the Major League Baseball draft, and he was also named the COSIDA Academic All-American of the Year for baseball. Congratulations to Mason Janvrin there. The Mules will have a rematch with number one seed Colorado Mesa on Thursday. That is at 6 p.m. And in order to make the championship, UCM will need to win on Thursday and defeat the Mavericks again on Friday. Washburn's Alexis Sapinski and Logan Morrissey won their second consecutive ITA All-American Awards and finished at number one in the final national rankings. The pair finished the season with an overall record of 29-6, and six, tied for the most doubles victories in a season in Washburn program history. The new director of athletics at Avila has been named. Sean Sumi will oversee the university's 16 intercollegiate athletic teams and work closely with the advancement team to broaden Avila's connection to the Kansas City community. Prior to joining Avila, Sumi served as the athletic director at Stratford University in Newport News, Virginia, where he was responsible, responsible for a newly formed intercollegiate athletic program. He was also the head baseball coach for three years before that at Ave Maria University in Florida and then went on to take up the role of athletic director. Sumi will begin his duties with Avila on July 1st. The Fringe University Falcons have won their second straight KCAC Commissioner's Cup and fourth overall in the last five years. The Falcon Athletic Department will receive the cup at the 2019 KCAC Sport Management Conference on Tuesday, August 6th. And here's today's tie-in. That conference will take place at Avila University in Kansas City. The Falcons had conference championships in women's indoor and outdoor track and field, along with second place finishes in men's indoor and outdoor track and field and men's cross country. They also had third place finishes on the year 2018-2019 in softball, in men's basketball, in women's cross country, and in men's soccer. Friends compiled 151 total points for the season to slip past second place Ottawa by 1.5 points. And we'll stay with the KC just a little bit more tonight, and why not? Let's talk some football. This news from off the field, and this one has ties to two different programs within the KCAC. Bethany's football passing game coordinator, coordinator Clarence Anderson, has been selected for induction into the Kansas Pro Indoor Football Hall of Fame. Anderson spent three seasons with the Wichita Force of the Champions Indoor Football League, 2015, 2016, and 2017. In those three seasons, Anderson appeared in 36 games for the force. Now, he had 151 receptions for 1,712 yards and 33-37 receiving TDs. As a kick returner, he had 101 attempts for 2,006 yards, averaged 19.9 yards per return, and four touchdowns. He also excelled as a punt returner finishing with eight returns for 378 yards and four touchdowns. He averaged 120.4 all-purpose yards per game for the force. Anderson was also a four-year letterman on the football field for Ottawa University. With the Braves, he was a two-time NAI AFCA All-American and a three-time first-team All-KCAC selection. And get this, he is ranked in the top ten in the Ottawa record book in kickoff return attempts, kickoff return yards, kick returns for a touchdown, punt return attempts, points in a career, touchdowns, receiving touchdowns, receiving yards, and all-purpose yards. Congratulations to Clarence Anderson again for his selection for induction into the Kansas Pro Indoor Football Hall of Fame. And that is all for tonight. Thanks for watching Midwest Sports Now. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. God bless you all. Have a great one.